Hello, welcome to Race EC and another unboxing. But before I take the bike out of the box and show you what's inside, a little reminder to subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you do. It means you get the notifications for all future unboxings on First Rise and have a great content from us here at Race EC. And it means a lot to us, so um, make sure you hit that uh, red button down the bottom. So with that said, let's get the bike out of the box and take a closer look. Give you an idea of what's inside. And there's the bike. Its identity concealed by lots of foam lagging. This fine looking bike is a brand new Atelier Gravel from a brand called Jay Gwillem. Now I might be butchering his name a little bit, so apologies if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. So the guy who founded this company actually founded Van Nicholas many years ago and he's, um, he's now residing in Mallorca and producing a small range of titanium bikes. He only works with titanium because that's really his expertise and where his passion for road bikes lie. So um, most of the bikes he produced until now have been road bikes and they've been inspired by the, uh, the landscape and the roads of his, uh, his new home in Mallorca. There's also plenty of gravel riding on Mallorca and this is his latest model, an all new gravel bike. And it looks to tick a lot of boxes that we look for in a gravel bike. So I'll just talk you through some of the key details that make this bike really stand out. So first let's pay close attention to the frame. Uh, titanium is a really popular material. It's still jolly expensive, but it's a lot cheaper and more affordable than it used to be kind of 10, 20 years ago. And it's still a really good alternative to carbon fiber and uh, aluminium. And a lot of people prefer titanium because it has that um, longevity, has that classic appearance, and it's just a really nice material. It rides really nicely, and it's a good uh, material for both a road bike and a gravel bike. And we've seen quite a few interesting gravel bikes made from titanium recently. So this is another one to add to that short list. There's some really nice details on the bike that ensure it stands out from uh, the other titanium gravel bikes on the market. In particular, it's the head tube. So it's tapered, which is pretty standard, but it's cast at one piece. And the cable entry point is actually part of that casting. So rather than drill the frame for the internal cable routing, they've made the cable routing part of the frame, so it's integral. And the rear gear cable actually goes inside the head tube, right down and down tube, through the chain stay, and out uh, near the dropout there. The dropouts while we're here, they're also cast uh, one piece, um, 12 mm through axle and flat mount, really nicely done. You can see they've got little fender mounts or mudguard mounts, uh, which can be removed if you want to you know, lighten it for summer use or fit them for uh, winter use. Another really nice detail, one of probably the standard details of the bike, but it's kind of hidden away a little bit, is the, uh, the chainstay yoke. So the bottom bracket and this um, yoke, which they call it there, is cast of one piece. And the idea there is to provide maximum tyre clearance and chainring clearance. And you see they've also dropped the chainstay as well, just to ensure maximum clearance for the tyre and the chainstay. Because that area gets a little bit crowded, 
when you're trying to squeeze bigger tyres in and still keep the Q factor uh, narrow as possible. So that's a really nice detail. I've not seen anything like that on any other uh, titanium gravel bike. So it really shows their attention to detail and their real kind of passion for doing uh, something above and beyond the normal. So we like that. I have nice details, a nice um, seat stay bridge. You can see the mudguard out there. It's just a really nice shape, really nice done. It's also a titanium seat post, which is their own, and a nice uh, seat collar. Just a really nicely presented frame. There's nothing out of the ordinary on it. There's just two bottle cage mounts. There isn't a third one on the bottom. The fork is carbon fibre, and that's their own design. It's actually a prototype fork, so we don't have any information on it, but it's a um, brand new fork. It's their own fork, their own design. It's got quite a nice shape to it as well. Plenty of tire clearance, and it uses a 12mm through axle and a flat mount uh, caliper on there. So it looks really good with the, uh, with the frame. Tire choice and big tires are a key part of any gravel and adventure bike, and this is no exception. So the bike we've got here fits with the WTB Riddler tires. They measure 37 mil wide, and there's plenty of space between the frame and fork. You go much wider, you probably go up to 40, maybe 41, 42 at a pinch. Or if you want to go down the 650B route, which is proving quite popular at the moment, you can fit up to a 2.1 inch tire. So that gives you plenty of scope for fitting a tire that's going to suit uh, your personal preferences and the terrain you're riding and how much uh, road versus off-road you're riding on a bike like this. So um, this is a pretty good choice to start with. A nice fast rolling tread pattern in the middle. Uh, shoulder blocks are kind of cornering grip, so it should be a good choice for our nice dry, dusty trails at the moment, but you could obviously fit a different tyre, a slick tyre, big fat tyre, up to you really. So the bike allows you to fit any tyre you want. The bike we've been sent in the test is fitted with a Shimano Altegra group set with mechanical shifting and hydraulic disc brakes. It's a 5034 compact on the front and 1130 cassette on the back. The wheels are from a company called Scope uh, with nice wide profile carbon rims and smart looking hubs. And the finishing kit, so that's handlebar, stem, seat post and saddle, are all from the company's own brand. And as I mentioned, there's a titanium seat post which looks very nice with the frame but a black aluminium stem and a handlebar. As, as you see it here, this bike costs 4,000 euros. The frame on its own is 2,000 euros, so you could buy a frame and build it up yourself, or you could start with this build kit, and on their website, they actually let you tailor the build, so you can choose different wheels, different tires, and you can also choose the length of stem and the width of the handlebar. So you can kind of tailor the bike to suit your needs and uh, price point a little bit. So that's been a quick first look at a brand new Atelier Gravel, a bike that on paper looks to tick all the boxes and in the flesh on closer inspection really does do a lot to stand out from the, um, the other titanium gravel bikes in this category. I love the, uh, the cast head tube with the internal K routing. I love the uh, chain tail yoke and the details like the mudguard mount. And it's just a really nice looking bike. The one thing, however, I'm not quite so sure on and you know, personal and subjective, of course, it's the uh, typeface that's used for the down tube logo. I don't really feel it fits with the, uh, the premium kind of appearance of a titanium frame, but that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think of the, uh, the logo in the comment section below. Is it a thumbs up, thumbs down? Let's hear your thoughts. Other than that, it's a really nice looking bike, good price point, you can customise the spec, and I can't wait to ride it. So I'll be doing that over the next few weeks, and you can see a full review on the Race C website. So make sure you keep in the website every day. So don't miss that review and I'll maybe give you an update on, um, on YouTube as well if you're up for that so let me know if you do want to see that. Uh, that's all for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel, hit that like button if you enjoy watching this and also check out some of our other videos uh, hovering beside me as well so uh, yeah, enjoy.